morning. You're with Samuel Austin and Jan Burton of Rhino Cubed. Uh, we're out in Louisville where we're building the next Rhino and I'm here today to talk to you about how we're insulating this unit, um, which we're making as uh, small mountain cabins, uh, island properties, um, backyard yoga studios, writing studios, painting studios, whatever your heart might desire. Um, the, the, this newest Rhino Cube uh, was sprayed yesterday with closed cell foam. Uh, that is a, a great insulation and I'm here to tell you a little bit about it. This insulation uh, in the Rhino is about four inches thick uh, it's three and a half, these are three and a half inch studs, plus there's uh, about a three quarter inch uh, crenellation that runs in the wall. All of that has been filled with foam. The foam expands to fill every single gap. Uh, it's a vapor barrier and an insulator and it's waterproof. Um, this wall is approximately R22, uh, which um, for those of you who don't know what that means, uh, we're basically in a high-tech beer cooler. This is going to be one well-insulated, uh, an amazing structure. Um, in addition to the fact that it's insulation, it's also uh, structurally sturdy. Um, you can see how it's not giving underneath my hand, okay? Um, can you see this, Jen? That's my pocket knife sticking out of the wall. Um, this, the thing is once you spray this insulation in, it sticks to the studs uh, and, and, and the, the metal and everything. So the inside of this container is no longer traditional framing and it doesn't flex like traditional framing. This is actually a solid membrane now that's connected basically with solid blocking. And you can see in the wall how we've added blocking so that you can, anything that uh, you want to bolt to the wall at this level can be bolted to the wall uh, without any fear. I mean, we're talking about um, a bomber structural support. Um, walking towards the back, I want to show you how we're doing the back doors to the container. These are the uh, these are the original cargo doors that come on the container. Uh, this container was refurbished, and so by spraying it, we're really taking out any imperfection um, in the container that came from it being refurbished, but we're getting all the really cool dents and things that uh, the container had in it from traveling around the world probably multiple times. Um, this back door is three and a half inches thick of foam. Uh, the foam is roughly R7 per inch, and you can see that once the door closes, that insulation seals tight. Uh, in a later videotape, we'll show you how we gasket that and create a really tight seal. Um, another benefit of this foam is when you look at the video, you'll, you can imagine probably in your mind that this mountain cabin will be rodent proof. Um, I don't think that's probably true of any other cabin that's not built like this, that's, that's not a shipping container. So uh, I love that idea. I've stayed in hundreds of cabins over the years. I'm a Colorado native, never been in one that's rodent proof till now. 